Hello, it's Jen De Tracy. This is uh, day three post Maven Clad. Well, actually, what I mean is day three, pill three. I've already taken that pill. I took it last night, and today is the period in between when I took my day three and when I take my day four, which actually I think day four pill will only be about, I think about three and a half hours away now. So coming close. And I have to admit, I feel restless now, restless. And what I mean by that is restless in that I just want it to be over. Okay, impatient is the word. <laughs> impatient is definitely the world. Now you can see today I've, I've switched up my setting. I'm I'm now um, near my altar. This is where I meditate with my my froggy, and I have a little candle lit, and I've actually um, have some angel cards that I pulled today. Um, Impatient didn't come up as any of them actually, but I did get synthesis and responsibility. So still figuring those out. Hopefully synthesis with the medication. One thing I didn't mention yesterday after my dosage number two, day two, was that I did get out yesterday, I think I can't remember if I mentioned this or not, for a walk to run some errands. And I made myself get out of the house because even though it was like minus 25 yesterday in Montreal, I thought it was important to get my body moving, get some fresh air, feel, uh, you know, just uh, get some rosiness in my face, a little bit of sunlight, and that felt good. And then I went back and had a nap. And I described all the side effects from yesterday. The one thing though that I forgot to mention yesterday is that in the late in the morning after I had eaten my first meal of the day, and I only eat twice a day, I had some serious reflux. In fact, it was so bad that I almost like, ooh, it almost came up out of my mouth, like not exactly vomit. <laughs> Sorry about the grossness of that. But then it passed and I thought, okay, that's great. Uh, took my pill around 8 o'clock last night, so that was day 3, which I'm talking about today. And was feeling fine. In fact, in the evening time for the first few hours, I do feel quite fine. I was working on my computer last night, trying to catch up on some, some work. As uh, Last week, I just got back not even a week ago from my uh, vacation. And so a lot of sort of building up of work to do. And I seemed fine. And uh, then when I did crawl into bed, and it was kind of late, maybe 11.30, and I was reading in bed, and then as soon as I turned off the light, it was like, ugh, I felt n the continuation of nausea that I had been feeling from yesterday. Plus, uh, yeah, the reflex was just like, well, I was laying down, and I'm not a reflex expert by any means. I don't have it uh, hardly ever. So this is kind of something that I'm, I'm relating to uh, associated with the medicine. Just had a lot of reflux and I was wondering if it was precipitated by the coconut milk. Uh, yesterday I talked about uh, drinking or having coconut milk. I mixed some raspberries in there, kind of like a yogurt, but just from a can, which I showed you in the last video. So check it out if you haven't watched it. And maybe that caused the heartburn. I'm not quite sure, but no, it wasn't heartburn, it was reflex. So what I did was, I promptly got up. It had been four and a half hours. It was like 12, 15 a.m. in the night slash morning. And I took the trusted Rolaids. And on these Rolaids it says 10 seconds till they start working. Well, I don't know if it was 10 seconds or not, but I knew I wasn't feeling good, so I took uh, what, what I do periodically take was Ativan, sometimes I only take 0.5 milligrams. Um, this time I took just uh, a one milligram, which is 2.5 milligrams of lingual tablets, just to calm my nervous system and also to knock me out because I could tell I was not gonna be able to, I was not in that state of falling asleep. And with the disruption of that, and also I find at bedtime I do feel a little bit itchy not in the way that I've heard from other people on the Maven Clad for MS Facebook group where you're like dying of itch or rashy, nothing like that, but agitatingly itchy at bedtime, which actually that happens to me regularly anyway. 
So I took, took the Rolaids that seemed to do the trick. I was listening to an audiobook. I know I fell asleep because when I woke up in the morning, it asked me to rate my audiobook on the Audible. <laughs> and I knew I had about three hours left. So clearly I conked out, uh, which isn't often the case. Often with an audiobook, I am listening until I shut it off because I'm so engaged. So that worked well for me last night. One of the things that I talked about also yesterday, I think it was yesterday, um, in my video was doing sauerkraut that's an amazing probiotic and I just get actually the the least expensive sauerkraut that I can find I get this from a, a health food store and all it is 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 white cabbage salt and spices it does contain sulfites but there's nothing else in here there's no like red wine vinegar or wine vinegar or anything very clean very simple uh, never used to like sauerkraut this has become part of my um, healing my stomach which is a long time concern that I've had since I was a little baby with the heavy duty colic so that's that's nothing new but uh, being on Maven clan which has been pretty tough on my stomach meaning that it's caused some stomach discomfort and the nausea uh, I had committed to completing this jar which you can see is pretty big pretty big jar um, in six days well I think that is not likely to happen because I'm already taking day four of the medication today and you can see I haven't made as much headway. Now this stuff is packed in there solid. <laughs> so my I'm gonna recommit to that. And that, you know, sometimes we just have to accept that maybe we set the bar a little high in some of our goals uh, in our life, whether it be around our health or some other area. Um, and so I'm going to commit to, uh, by the time I finish, so I've got, uh, this is, I have three more videos, right? Because tonight I take pill uh, dosage number four, which is one tablet. Then I've got dosage number five. So that'll be a video tomorrow to report, a video the next day, and a video the day after. So I'm committed to getting halfway through this sauerkraut jar by then. So you can bet that I'm going to put this on my dinner table tonight so I don't forget because, you know, out of sight... Out of mind. Just talking about other side effects, uh, my lip is doing okay now. It's still cracked and sore. I'm continuing to put coconut, uh, coconut oil, which is what I use for cooking with the Dr. Terry Wall diet that I'm on for MS and autoimmune. So I'm, I'm doing that. I'm just trying it out. It seems to be working okay. Truthfully, in order to create comfort, I have to put on Gosh, I could be putting on every 20 minutes, but maybe once an hour I'm putting on or whenever I'm in the kitchen and I just uh, do that. It's just very convenient. Mm, today, energy-wise, I would say that my energy is quite low. I did try and lay down and have a nap, but my mind was churning about some, some things that I hadn't followed through with over the last day or two. So after 20 minutes of being horizontal, I got up and, and, and just dealt with those uh, couple of items. I think for me, if I can't sleep, I don't feel during the daytime, I don't feel bad about it. The most important thing for me is to get into that horizontal state and just lay there. 20 minutes is a little shy. Um, like to do that for ideally 45 to an hour just to see if I can fall asleep. At the same time, I really want to be extremely tired tonight so that I can have a rock star sleep like I did two nights ago without taking anything uh, while being on Maven Clad. And last night being my third dosage, um, I felt a little pepped up um, and so that was difficult. So after taking the sleeping aid, I was able to crash out and I slept probably for a good, I think it was at least nine hours. So the last two days I've had nine hours of sleep, which is rare, especially being a, mon a menopausal woman. <laughs> So celebration around that. Um, yeah, and I just have this longing right now to, to get this complete. It's been great that I started on Thursday because um, today is now, it's a Sunday and it will be my dose four and Monday will be my dose five. Uh, and my client work starts up again officially in a major way on Tuesday to Thursday. So I'm really hoping that if I can stay the course with how I feel right now, or how I felt even over the last couple days, I know that I can uh, pull off the week with clients. And it is a little bit of a, a busier week. And truthfully, 
um, because I I work out of the home office and uh, I work virtually, I don't have to extend as much energy as a lot of people do uh, that have to go to a job. And I'm grateful for that because my fatigue level is quite high just in general in my life. And so in order to function and do the things I want to do, it just makes my life more manageable. And my goal has been to work about a maximum of three hours a day, which is, you know, the best for me. But being a person who loves to work, and sometimes that's not possible, so often I am working five to six hours a day, but breaking it up. So anyway, I, uh, I, I will see how I do as I move into the last few, two doses of Mavenclad, and, and then the, the, how that feels afterwards. Because my understanding with Mavenclad is it builds up over time, so it's gonna build and build, it's building every time. So it's possible the side effects could increase uh, while I'm taking those next two dosages. So wish me luck, write comments below. Uh, if you're not part of the Facebook for Mavenclad uh, Facebook group and you have a Facebook account, definitely join. It's just such a rich community. It has been a huge support for me and I'm so grateful for that. And I am posting these videos there because I want to spread the word. This is something that, um, like myself, a lot of people when they were before going on this medication and going on the beginning of their journey, couldn't find very much information. So the more that we can share in information, the better with others to help people, number one, make the decisions as to whether Mavenclad is right for them, uh, just in general. A lot of people in this group are actually taking it as their first line of preventative action um, under what you call the drug, drug um, I think it's DMT, I can't remember, drug modif uh, modification treatment, sorry, someone's going to have to correct me on that, my, my acronyms are not very good. <laughs> Anyhow, so it's, if, you, if you like this video and you can share it with others that you think may benefit, please, please do that, I encourage you to. And I think that's it for today, I can't really think of anything else that has been um, bothering me a lot in terms of side effects today. I think I'm a little crabbier today. That might be possible. And uh, quite thirsty today, for sure. Drinking lots of liquid and, and so, you know, as I come in to the final hours of day three after the medication, so post-medication, definitely the thirstiness. We talk about um, Dehydration can be a big thing with Mavenclad because there's a high, high dosage of salt in each tablet as well as I think it's sorbitol, some kind of sugar. So I'm not putting salts in with most of the things I cook right now because I already I find that since I was diagnosed with the MS, I've already felt uh, dehydrated and need to drink a lot. It's kind of strange. It kind of happened very suddenly for me. And so being on Mavenclad is ramping that up. Not as, not as extreme though as what I've heard from some other people around their experience with Mavenclad and dehydration. So I'm grateful for that and I hope for you that uh, as long as you keep hydrated that you will also experience, have a better experience. Nausea today is a little less than yesterday which is great and um, as some people have recommended on the Facebook for, or Mavenclad for Facebook group, I would, or I should say, Maven Clad for MS group is definitely make sure you're eating too. So when I take my pill at night, I have a very full belly. Now maybe tonight I'll ensure that my belly's not as full and it's not as late as yesterday because I think that might be part of the reason for that reflux that happened. Anyway, wishing you uh, a good journey. Again, comment below if you have things you want to say. I'm just going to turn and shut this video off. There we go. See you tomorrow.